G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today's video, I'm not really sure what it's about, but I just wanted to have a chat before we get stuck into it. I've already forgot the first subject. Oh yeah. So coincidentally Christmas, look you can see me in the mirror. Hi. Um, coincidentally, Christmas is on Friday and my live stream is usually on Friday. So I was like, okay, I'm not going to do my live stream. But then my wife said something. She was like, there's a lot of people out there that are unfortunate and don't have family and friends to spend Christmas with. So maybe I should still go live and at least people that are at home, they can tune into my channel for that one hour and in, enjoy a live stream. Like I may get less viewers than usual, but I'm, even if I make one person happier on the day, um, it might be worth it. So just comment below what you think, whether I should go live on Christmas Day. Um, from what I can gather from what I've worked out from the day, um, I do have one hour to spare. It just might be slightly earlier than when I normally go live. It might be like 4.30 instead of 5, or it might be 5.30 instead of 4, 5. I don't know, it'll be, I'll try to get it in the vicinity. I do have places, I do have to go out for lunch and dinner, but there is window in between. Um, so I just wanted to talk about my lawn for two seconds as well. Um, I promise this isn't going to be a complete lawn video, but there's something I want to show you guys. Alright, so you'll see that like, um, compared to the last video, which is only like four, three, four days ago, how much green shot through, and that's, um, because I didn't actually scarf it, like I was saying in the video. Um, the reason it was brown is because my pump wasn't working. So I've actually spent a bit more time on it since the last video. I've cleaned out all the sprinkler heads, I've cleaned out all the filter, um, and I've put more... No, I didn't put anything else on the lawn. I've just um, been watering it. And we've had uh, 35 to 37 degree days in a row, and you can see the green shooting through. So... I'm definitely doing something right um but basically a couple of people said i should lift my lawnmower up and the longer the lawn is the better it'll survive in the heat um unfortunately it's not really an option in this situation it's kind of a little bit of a pissing contest i'm, I'm trying to keep up my uncle has got perfect lawn and i just want to look half as good as his and part of the requirement of that is trying to cut it at 10 millimeters I know I'm shooting myself in the foot cutting it that short, but that's the look I'm going for. And if I can't get it to that, um, I, 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 well, I just want to get it to that. <laughs> it's not an option. Um, see that little dead patch there? I'm going to sort that out. This little, there's a sprinkler here, right exactly where my finger is. I'm going to actually move that down to the edge of the fence and put it on a riser so it's sitting up higher than that green box. But, um, I need, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in that corner. There's actually a reason it's not, I didn't put it in that corner because there's actually cement in the way, but I'm going to move the cement um, and then we'll fix that. Oh guys, so I said I was going to do one bucket of tiling every day. So right now what I need to do, I need to wrap some Christmas presents. I need to do a bucket of tiling. What's the time? Man, it's already 12 o'clock. I've just been shopping. Um, Exactly what I said to you guys. Do you guys remember I said we're going to have some great content over the next two weeks? But usually what happens is I, I um, run short of time on holidays, even though I feel like I've got the whole day. Um, nothing happens. Well, not nothing happens, but uh, some, somehow I find it hard. I, I, I've got an idea for something super crazy with those tanks that I showed you in yesterday's video. So. Um, I'm going to wrap some Christmas presents. Hopefully you didn't see them in the background. I don't think my missus really watches the video anyway. Or my brother-in-law, because that's who's the other present's for. Um, I get. I told my missus a present idea for my brother-in-law, and then she said it's a bad idea, so I went and bought it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, funny, funny. Uh, it, it's not a bad idea, I promise, I promise. Um, but... All right, I'm gonna wrap some presents, do some tiling, and then I'm gonna go look at the fish tanks. And if it's in, the, it might be in the thumbnail, it might not, who knows. All right guys, how's it going? So 
I already made an intro, didn't I? So th that makes my life easier. Let's talk about what we're doing right now. All right, so I told you guys how I made the, um, ex the I, I did all that pipe work on the pond the other day. Now that's a, a dry fitting and not glued, I was actually able to take it off and um, I made a new one, which I lost. Hello? Anybody? Ah. Uh, I don't know where it went. I, ma I made it and then I was like, I better film this because, you know, like vlogger life, um, really should be filming. And then I lost it. Uh oh. My phone's ringing. I'll just have to get back to you. Who is this? All right, I found it. It was inside the house. So I'm doing a couple of things at once here. Um, I'm trying to plan a box for shipping, but the only box I've got is really rough. Like it's got a big hole in the bottom. So I might have to go get a new box. And also I ran out of fish bags, which I'm really surprised. I guess that's how many fish I've been selling. Um, so let's have a look underneath. I'm going to bring the real camera with this this time. Last time I didn't, but. Man, I thought I had eggs for a second then. My short body girl with the silk is like borderline laying, but I've tried separating them a few times and putting them back together and it's just not working. All right, so I don't want to get the camera too close, but basically, this thing, yeah, look out. Looks like it's not going to clear the wood up there. Um, well that's, that's got to come down a bit because it's got to go under that wood. I'm going to put the camera down guys and uh, work this length out because I, I don't want to cut it too short. No. I think I need to cut another 10 mil off it. Alright guys, so luckily this is all dry fitted. I had a, a cut a uh, good 80 mil off the bottom of that to make the top of this pipe lower than that fitting over there which you can't really see now this should all lock in that goes in there uh, you guys can't really see so now that's all 40 mil into 90 mil so there's no reduction and then this one here is going to get ripped off And I need to make a cap for this hole. The silicon's actually stuck better than I expected. But basically, uh, I, want to, I want to do the cap on that before I water test this. I need to water test the height of this before we put the tanks under there. Because if it needs any rendition, I want to do it before I put the tanks under there. Alright guys, so... I just got a Stanley blade, I cleaned up the hole. This pipe is like stained yellow, I'm not really sure why. Maybe it like sat outside before I used it, I can't really remember. But um, basically, I just got a piece of pipe and I just cut a slit in it. So this is basically big enough to slip over that. Um, obviously it's not going to touch at the bottom, there's going to be a gap, but we only need it to seal up the top where the hole is, if that makes sense. So if you're ever capping a hole, this is the easiest way to do it by far. It's an off cut, hopefully you guys can see her up. I haven't got the light on. Let that set on there. bottom's kind of popping off there so I'm just spinning it so it's like at a point where I know it's touching part of me wants to put a cable tie around that um, it's, I don't think it'll leak but I'll get a cable tie just in case alright so now it's just as simple as turning this tap 
and um, if you guys don't know that hose is connected to these IVCs so I get filtered water going straight into the tank I don't have to worry about treating tap water or anything um, so now we just got to fill that until that overflows I should really have that flowing on the ground so I can see it but yeah I shouldn't need to leave it on for more than like 10 minutes and I'll get back to you guys once I know the height alright guys so I've turned the hose off I've let it sit for a few minutes so we're about 10 millimeters down from the top edge which is pretty much exactly where I want to be um, I could go higher than that but there's no point this ends a little bit higher you can see there's probably a 15 millimeter gap there uh, so one thing I did is I actually moved my male stingray over with the big girls. Um, unfortunately he's probably not big enough to breed with them but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, unfortunately I fell victim of somebody advertising a fish for not the size they that it actually is. Um, I bought that as a 32 centimeter ray and I've had it for a while and it's currently only 27 centimeters but that's all right I'll just uh <laughs> I'll leave him with <laughs> look at the size difference uh, um kind of thinking I should take one girl out and just leave him with one girl but we'll give him a run I just got to make sure he doesn't get too stressed out and I'll probably try and like hand feed him so he gets food because that's the only I never have an issue with small rays smaller rays um getting attacked by the bigger ones the only problem I ever have is them not eating um see this girl is a guts if you actually look look at her she looks pregnant she hasn't been with a male for like eight months to a year so she's definitely not pregnant neither of those girls are pregnant and they're in the same tank getting the same amount of food can you tell which one's the guts all right guys I'm gonna wrap that one there um so it's just a little little one about plumbing um and sorry to the members you didn't get a members video yesterday that's just um my brain not working not being at work i didn't realize it was monday um and yeah i'll do a midweek um, members video this week i'll probably still post a video on the main channel and i'll do two videos in one day um we'll see if there's no video for one day to everyone else that means that i put it on the members channel um, it won't be this one. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Tomorrow's video will be a members video. Let's just put it that way. Um, there won't be a video on the main channel. Uh, so yeah, we didn't get to show the Frankenstein tank I want to build and we didn't get to test fit the size of the tank in there, but I guess that's just the way things work. Uh, you never get as much done as you're planning. Um, I need to drain the 7x4, but I don't want to drain it onto the gr in, into the drain because um, I'm just trying to be cautious of my water usage so I need to find some barrels I've got barrels and stuff and I want to try drain it into barrels and then modify what I have to underneath this tank and then drain it back into the tank um, I'm really nervous to work underneath this tank but I've got to do it it's got to be done um, basically the timber legs that are under there are starting to rot and um, we don't need rotting legs underneath a thousand litre fish tank um, but anyway guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit the little red button down there and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out